NBA Draft 2017. I'm here with my boss, Howard. How did I do tonight? First of all, you did great. Second of all, we are colleagues. Absolutely colleagues. It's a collective. You see the way he treats me, guys? It's great. Who is your biggest sleeper in this year's draft? Biggest sleeper in this year's draft, I would say twofold. One is seeing Brittany Sykes go seven to the Atlanta Dream. I think that is such a great fit. They need someone, a volume scorer right away with Angel being uh, out for part of, at least part of the 2017 season. But Brittany brings a toughness, a real defensive energy for them, and her IQ basketball-wise is off the charts. So I love seeing her there. The other one that I think is huge is Alexis Jones going 12 to Minnesota. I mean, first of all, to see her drop like that is, is significant, but someone who shot better than 41% from three in her junior and senior years this is a team that needed to shoot threes better. Only Maya shot better than 33% from three all year for that team. So having Jones there, Whalen is someone who needs to get a little more rest, need her fresh for the playoffs. I think that is a total win. So those are the two biggest wins, I thought, out of round one. Now, Amani, curious what your impressions were of the people you talked to, the people who were here. Who seemed the most WNBA ready, just from an interview perspective? Interview perspective, definitely Kelsey, because she's probably been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> she's had a very big year. Kayla. Um, and Sydney Weiss knew everything about her team mm -hmm. from top to bottom. Players, personnel, coaching style, how she would fit in, realistically, where she would, what she would be able to contribute. So I'm excited to see what she can do. Like, just listening to her, she has a P PG mind. She can speak about it, and I'm excited to see her do it. Who were you shocked to see go get drafted so early today? I was shocked to see Evelyn Octator go as early as she did. I understand why it happened, and I think she's tremendously talented. You know, she was a double-double every night out just about, and had 23 boards in her last college uh, career game. So seeing that was obviously not a surprise to see her go in round one, but having her go top three, that's definitely something I didn't project. Okay. Imani, when you think about the players who um, – Chicago uh, was picking tonight. Uh, who who really stood out to you? Um, I think seeing Chantel get drafted was interesting. Uh, I think it's going to be nice to see how she fits in with our style of play. Obviously, Elena, she's not going to come in and make an immediate impact because of her injury, but it'd be nice to see that building for the future. Two fives, you know, so it's going to be fun to work work with each other. For sure. Um, and I'm excited. You know, we'll see how the rest of our picks do. We'll see. I don't really know much about Tori, Tori but I know you're a big fan of Tori. Oh, well, so ask me about Tori Jane yeah. How do you feel about Tori getting drafted number nine? I think it was amazing to see Tori get rewarded for what was a stellar college career at Michigan State. You know, what I love about Tori Jen Costa's game, besides that it's all out, you know, I went to grab a picture of her for the write-up over on our site at the summit, and the picture, the first one that came up was her diving into the scorer's table. And it was just so it typifies the type of player she is. She is uh, someone who, there was this game against Michigan late in the year where she led the team in points, in rebounds, in assists, in steals, and in blocks. She just okay. does a little bit of everything. Wow. You go to Synergy, she was top 50 in defensive points per possession. Really loved Jen Costa's game. And quite frankly, thought I was higher on her than a lot of WNBA teams. Glad to see that the sky felt in. I'm excited to see what we do in training camp. We got two weeks, so it's going to be fun. Really excited about this as well. Imani, thank you so much for doing this with us. Thank you. I had a great time. Me too.